Takiaho, good line out take, and it's an advantage to New Zealand. Takiyaho, it's been a fabulous finisher this year already, scoring try after try after try, and machine gun like he goes okay. in again. But again, the quality of the carry, the defensive work by Scotland, just not off that defensive line quick enough. Breaking tackles, so strong. David Havili to Bowden Barrett. Takiyaho again in possession. Last now. He's a real gain line buster, Takiyaho. Bowden Barrett, that looked like Leonard Brown might have been offside there. Caleb Clark, can he beat the Scotland defence that scrambles across? They get their hands on the ball, Scotland, but it's illegal. They've got to release that. And the ball played for Talia. He's got to score. Try number two from the All Blacks, and they're pulling scores from the fantasy catalogue already here. So much dexterity in their play. And again, the decision-making. Pull the ball away from the gain line. Look for space. All too easy. Majestic piece of rugby by the All Blacks. Ben Russell was, was the last player off the bus. It was almost as if he stage-managed it. What a marvellous round of applause and cheers from the, the crowd that awaited to see Scotland arriving. The bus comes in here to Murrayfield behind the Pipers. Lovely inside ball to Stuart Hogg. Chip and chase for Hogg. One of Scotland's all-time great players. Was he pushed off the ball? And Stuart Hogg with pace to burn. Penalty try. Well, I don't think anyone could argue with that. Maybe not even Razzy Erasmus if it had happened to South Africa. <laughs> Finn Russell. See only two of Pelodo. Maybe numbers here on this side. Two-hand Van der Merwe. Powerfully through. Brilliant by Van der Merwe to make that half break. As Scotland pile into the breakdown. Oh. But superb work by Papa Lee. Don't know how he got in there and managed to get his hands on the ball. And here's Clark now to Havili. Remember New Zealand, oh. Aaron, 14 players. Darcy Graham, has he the pace to get away? We all know he's got the footwork. A movement polished to a shine. The turnover was good again from the All Blacks. They look to find space, but Darcy Graham just lingers in that channel. As a smart winger does, think of Brian Habana. Welcome Darcy Graham to the full, the footwork, he goes in and out. Tui Peloto again, first receiver, Finn Russell. Oh, massive space out there. Stuart Hogg, can they exploit it? Darcy Graham! Has he scored a wonder try for Scotland? It's the left foot, they're coming back for the penalty. It would have been a spectacular finish. Ali Price now, beautiful angle by Scotland, it's offside, penalty advantage for the Scots, massive dead ball area it is here at Murrayfield but not quite massive enough. Well, he's brought the magic sprinkles with him hasn't he, he has that effect. Parachuting Finn Russell into the side, not in the original squad. His kicking percentage in the top 14 has been high this season, and he's doing it again in a Scotland shirt. Set. Stay. Great field position this for Scotland. Oh, and they get the penalty. Neglected by Gregor Townsend when the squad for this series was announced. And that'll do nicely. Scotland loose head has gone to the knee, he says the resistance touchy. Leonard Brown pulls it back, Barrett, and not for the first time, it's too far from Barrett. For New Zealand, and they need this one. Scotland's desperate defending again. Perinara picks it out, claims, claims for infringement by Scotland. We are being told, you may be able to hear the TMO, there. Obviously, Jack given Dempsey. where we are. Okay. 
Another pick drive and go by New Zealand. Well, they were tearing that Scotland defence. They took pile drive after pile drive. And the brute power of Scott Barrett again. A man on his backside, the leg drive to get them over the line. Perinara, and they're through here through Talea, who scores for New Zealand. Well, that was a combination of meteors. TMO's happy. Is there no separation? Joe Schmidt, well, he would be happy, so would Ian Foster. Yes. Uncle Sam says, just get it off the field. Whisper in the ear from the skipper to Terrafetta. Well, I think the Scottish performance for 60 minutes was exceptional. Again, they allowed a foothold into the game, they let Finn Russell orchestrate.